I think, and it's my case, that it wiped our memory of a previous episode of, of human civilization, that right at the epicenter of this cataclysm was a civilization that we would regard as advanced, not a simple hunter-gatherer civilization, which was utterly wiped out uh, in this cataclysmic event. And I should say, for anyone who's really fascinated right now, please m maybe pause and go listen to the one that the two that you did with Randall Carlson, yes. where it really goes into depth about the impact, the evidence of these impacts, yes. the evidence of the very quick demise of the Ice Age, and what may yeah. have resulted in all these floods that you read about in the Epic of Gilgamesh, that you read about in Noah's Ark, and that all these things are probably tales that, of stories that people pass down from generation to generation that survived this time. Yeah, because we now know that at that time, between 12,800 and 11,600 years ago, truly global cataclysmic events involving rapid rises in sea level yeah. uh, did occur, and suddenly the, the worldwide tradition of a, of a global flood stops being just a myth and starts being a memory, yes. an account of, of real events. It's been my privilege to work very closely with Randall Carlson. Yeah, he's amazing. Randall is absolutely amazing. He is a total genius. He's also a gentle giant and such a kind, generous, spirited person. It's a joy to work with him. And every minute spent with him is an education. I had the privilege of traveling across the Channel Scablands in Washington State with Randall. And seeing things through his eyes really opened my eyes to the scale of this disaster.